Good morning, and welcome to another installment of Casey's Motivational Movement, where today is an integral part of our learning lesson, where today I'm going to be talking about specifically seed, time, and harvest. And I'll say that again, seed, time, and harvest. There is no success without these three things, very, very key elements toward success are seed, time, and harvest. And I'll, I'll give you a, a, a little bit of why I, I like this analogy. And I'll tell you why. I believe that the mind is one of the greatest and the most fertile growing grounds that there is. Just like a, a gardener or a farmer prepares his ground for his seed, so we should prepare our minds as well to receive our seed. You know, I, I love what Michelangelo said. And Michelangelo, he was the guy that created the Statue of David, one of the greatest pieces of, 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 art, of art there is, artwork there is. Michelangelo was asked how he created such a great statue in the Statue of David. And Michelangelo replied. He said it was simple. He said, I just simply removed the pieces of marble that didn't belong. And there, within the marble, the statue appeared. And we have to look at it, if we look at this again, the mind as a, a, one of the greatest fertile growing grounds, we have to begin to remove the things that don't belong. As we prepare our growing ground, we have to remove the things that don't belong. And the things that don't belong are usually the weeds. And what are weeds known to do? Weeds suffocate growth. They have no other job but to suffocate growth. So as we begin to remove the things that don't belong, remove those weeds that don't belong, one of the examples being our friends sometimes. Now, I mean, you know, sometimes I'm sure they don't mean any harm, but sometimes, just sometimes, the negative things that people speak into our lives can be those very weeds that suffocate our growth. So let's begin to get into this lesson just a little bit more. And I'll start off with the seed. I believe it like this. I believe that desire, the things we desire in this world, the things that we want, the things that are become our passion, our missions in life, desire is the very first seed of the mind. Now, the funny thing about a seed, a seed knows what it's gonna what it's gonna, gonna what it's gonna produce. The orange seed never looks to the apple seed and asks, what should I become? The DNA is already within that seed. That seed already knows what it's going to become. And this is why our thoughts are very important. The desires of our hearts are so important. Because it doesn't matter what it is, if we plant an apple seed. We're going to get apples. If we plant an orange seed, we have no choice but to produce oranges. And so with our thoughts, if we have negative thoughts, we can only expect a negative harvest. But if we begin to watch our thoughts, as we begin to remove those things that don't belong, those weeds, those negative thoughts that don't belong, as we begin to remove them, we have a greater chance for our growth to happen. Now let's move on to the next one. C. Then it goes time. We have to wait a specific time. When a young lady becomes pregnant, we know that wait time is nine months. Within nine months, nine to ten months, we're going to expect a baby. And that's the same thing with our with our desires, with our first seed of the mind. We have to begin to expect grow. But we have to know that there's a certain time limit. There's a certain time that we have to wait. When we plant a seed, there's a certain time limit that we have to wait for expectancy. I love the story of the Chinese bamboo tree. Now, the thing about the, the Chinese bamboo tree, when you plant this seed, it, has, it goes through what's called five growing seasons or five years of growth. And what happens is once you plant that seed, within the first year, you'll, you'll, 
get a ball. You, you get just a, a ball that comes out of the ground. Now for the next four years or for the next four growing seasons, you will see no growth. But that does, does that mean that it's not growing? And, I, and I'll give you an example. Again, in, in the four years, you see no growth. But in that fifth year, in that fifth growing season, that bamboo tree grows within a matter of that year, grows up to 80 feet tall. Now, this is a very specific thing when it comes to time and when you're watching something grow. Like this Chinese bamboo tree, it seems as if, if there's no growth. But what's happening is all the growth happens just below the surface. As the weed, or excuse me, as, as the, the roots are growing strong enough, long enough to produce that 80 feet of growth for that bamboo tree. And see, this, this is what happens in our own lifetime. We begin to plant our seeds and we begin to wait our time, but we see no growth. And we begin to get discouraged. So you have to understand that there's always growth going on, even if you're not able to see it. Now I want you to think about this process. Think about the difference in the process between planting and burying. Let's look at that, planting and burying. It's this very same process, but as we bury something, we're basically saying we're going to put our dreams to rest. But when we begin to plant, again, the same process, when we begin to plant, we begin to see growth. We begin to expect growth. Growth begins to happen. So it's just a matter of that planting the seed, waiting the time. Now next step, after you plant the seed, after there's a desire, after you plant that seed, that seed becomes planted. We wait our time. Whether it's one year, two years, our time of expectancy, we wait our time. And again, we have to expect a harvest. We can't see no growth and go back and dig it up. Because once we begin to dig it up, we're removing that seed from its fertile growing ground. And we're again, we're stopping the growth. We're stagnating the growth. We're being just like those weeds that doubt. The, those negative thoughts in our ear, those begin to be our weeds and our harvest cannot be expected. So again, we have to plant a seed. We have to wait our time and then we have to expect our harvest. This is the only thing we can do. These, these are the only, these are the main successions to what we call success. Seed, time, and harvest. And remember, these are, this is very, very simple. This is a very simple succession, but it's not easy. And again, if it was easy, everyone would do it. So I want you to think about what your desire is. What do you want out of this life? That's the first step in anything. What do you want? What is your desire? What does your mind want to produce? What seed will your mind produce? Now, as we wait our time, we have to, we can't talk desire, we can't talk see without having faith, without talking about faith. We have to expect it. We have to have faith. Faith is that those things that are not seen, but we expect them anyway. We begin to believe that we will reap our harvest as we have planted our seed. So just a little something to go by. I hope this message blesses your life. I hope you even share this with someone else because this thing is, this motivational movement is happening. I feel it starting to move. I feel people starting to jump on board with what we're doing here, this motivational movement because everybody needs a little motivation, sometimes that little push to go forward and be successful. And I wish you that very same thing. Till next time we meet, God bless you and good night.